So what's in my wallet? I always feel like these videos are extremely interesting because I think people watch them to see where they're at in their credit card journey. I mean, that's why I watch them. And I'm gonna be talking about three cards that I'm using currently in my wallet. And I may even add in a bonus one. So the wallet that I'm currently using is the Sherman Brands wallet, which I will link below if you wanna check it out or you're interested in the wallet for yourself. And also all the cards that I will be talking about in this video, I will have linked below if you're interested in signing up. It does help the channel out, so I would greatly appreciate it. Just a quick little story, but the reason why I'm so interested in making what's in my wallet videos is because I really wanted a metal car and I didn't know how to get one. So I watched videos like this to see what other people were doing to get one and it actually did help. So maybe in hopefully this video can help you achieve something within your credit card journey. So let's get into it. So the card that I wanna start off with is the Capital One Quicksilver card, which offers unlimited 1.5% cash back, no annual fees, no foreign transaction fees. When you go to pre-approve for this card, there's no impact to your credit score. The rewards that you get from this card doesn't expire. And another thing that I like about the Capital One Quicksilver card is they have different options. So they have the secure version and the unsecure version. The secure version, in order to get your credit limit, you do have to make a deposit of 200 to $500. And that was the way I was able to build credit. But then they have the unsecure option, which that is where they give you a credit limit. And not only that, that option also has a sign on bonus of $200 when you spend a thousand dollars within the first three months of being issued the car. My overall experience with the Capital One Quicksilver car is up and down. I will say that you can get stuck in a bucket with Capital One, which I think I unfortunately fell in, but I am extremely grateful to Capital One because they were the first issuer that gave me an opportunity to build my credit. So it's one of those situations where if you don't have the best credit, you have that secured option. But if you want to start kind of with the better cars, you could try Chase, you could try American Express. I think they may be better options, but the Capital One Quicksilver car is a great car overall in my experience. Moving on to the next car and just a little disclaimer, I am team cashback. So I prefer cars that offer cashback over travel because I'm not the biggest traveler. And if I was to travel, it'll probably be a one-off experience. But jumping right into the next car, the SoFi credit card. So the SoFi credit card offers unlimited 2% cashback no annual fees, no foreign transaction fees, really no fees. Unlimited 3% cash back when you use SoFi Travel. And when you go to get pre-approved for this credit card, there is no hard pull. So that's pretty nice. The rewards you gain with this card does not expire. Overall, I'm a huge fan of SoFi, which if you watch any of my other videos, which I will link up here, I'm like, I have no bad things to say about SoFi. If you like cashback, this is the perfect credit card for you. And if you're going to apply for it, use my link below to get some additional money when you are approved for the car. So I don't see no loss whenever you're going for the SoFi car, unless you just don't like cashback and you prefer to get gain travel points with different issuers. I mean, the SoFi card overall, I haven't had any bad experiences. So I would say thumbs up SoFi. And also quick note, if you have SoFi Plus in the first year, you also get 3% cash back on all purchases. So that's pretty cool. And in order to get the SoFi Plus, you do have to have direct deposit and have a bank account with SoFi but all those things you can get with the link down below. So check that out if you are interested. Also, if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing to the channel, I would greatly appreciate that. The third card in my wallet is the Amazon Business Prime card, which is a newer card to my wallet. And I'm pretty excited about it because I use Amazon a lot for my business because you know, Amazon pretty much has everything. So let's talk about the card a bit and what it offers, which first and foremost, you do need Amazon Prime in order 
order to even be eligible to get this car in particular, which is $139 annually. So if you don't want Amazon Prime, you can get the other offers that Amazon offer within their credit card products. So you won't be able to get this car in particular. When you're approved for this car, you do get a sign on bonus of $125 in the form of an Amazon gift card. And you do get 5% cash back at Amazon Business, AWS, Amazon.com, and Whole Foods Markets. 2% cash back on US purchases at restaurants, gas stations, and wireless cell phone services. 1% cash back on all other purchases. And this car has no annual fees. I guess you can say that because you still do need Amazon Prime in order to get this car. So I kind of see what they did there but it has no foreign transaction fees, which is cool, but this is a card that's issued by American Express, and you know you kind of got to weigh out the odds where you can use this card at because it's still issued by American Express, but other than that, it is a metal card, and who doesn't like a metal card? Speaking of metal cards, I said I had a bonus card, and that bonus card is the Apple card. I use the Apple card and the Apple wallet because you get 2% cash back. I don't really use the physical one because when you use the physical Apple card, you only get 1% cash back on all purchases. Although this metal card is beautiful and I think it is the best sounding card when you drop it. Why would you drop it? I don't know. Ask the people who drop cars and get satisfied from it. I'm one of those people. But this card has no annual fees, no foreign transaction fees. According to Apple, it has no fees and the user interface is probably the best of all the credit cards that i've ever used and i'm sure nobody would argue with that there's no impact to your credit score during the pre-approval process which with apple i've heard that you can continuously keep trying to get pre-approved for this car with no impact so say for example you go to get pre-approved for the apple card you get declined you can try again the next day pretty much which i don't know how accurate that is but that's what I've heard. So, I mean, I wouldn't do that. I would definitely wait six months and in that process, try to make sure my credit is in the best position to get approved. But that's just one of the things I heard. But that's the cards that's currently in my wallet. And that's what I'm using right now in order to maximize on cash back because I'm not really big on travel. So I'm not really worried about transferring points over to transfer partners or anything like that just trying to maximize on cash back get the most back for my book and if you're interested in any of these cars i'm going to link them down below so i appreciate anybody using those links because those links does help out the channel so with that being said i'll see y'all on the next one